everybody! So as you may know, in your terrain, you are able to change the colors of the terrain type. So you can maybe make your grass teal or blue or pink or whatever. Other material can be set to whatever color. You can also do that in a script using some script that looks like this. And if I run the game... It works perfectly fine. We now have some nice purple grass. But a problem that you may have while trying to set this up is that if you want the terrain color to be different for just one person and you want to use a local script, this local script has the exact same terrain color. So I turned off the normal script and I turned on the local script. If we go ahead and run the game, as you can see, the grass does not change color. So today I'm going to be going over how to work around that. And then uh, later in the video, I will show you how to make something like an alternate dimension with different colors. So we'll be able to make a, por a, por a portal that teleports you like this. And then you can uh, change the colors of this grass. So for starters, if you just want to change the color locally and you don't want to do anything else, even though you could just change the normal color in that case, but this is just an example script, go to the starter player and go to the starter player scripts, insert a local script, and insert the code game.workspace.terrain, set material color, enum, and then here you would add the material color you want to change, so we'll just do grass, and then color 3.from RGB. Not from HSF, from red, green, blue value, uh, 121, this is just an example color I wrote down in a notepad, 0, 1, 8, 1. So now if we run the game, it should go ahead and set it up so that, yeah, it is now purple. But if I go to the test and I go to the server, it's green. So it only shows that from my perspective. Now, let's go ahead and hook this up to something actually useful. If you don't need any more help, you can just stop the video here. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to set it up so that you can have a portal or something like that set your terrain material color. So the only thing we actually need to add to our script here is script.disabled equals true. And now disable your script. So now what we need to do is we need to go over to this portal and we need to add a local script. Now this local script needs to say script.parent.touch to connect function local player e local i can't type local player equals game dot players dot local player and then we just want to do player dot player scripts i do believe that's what it is dot uh local script you want to rename this if you want to have multiple different i guess dimensions so we'll go ahead and name this purple script game dot players dot uh game dot player scripts dot purple script dot disabled equals false so, if I am correct, this should work. Alright, let's go ahead and test it out. And it didn't work. I did something wrong. Give me a moment. Alright, so actually, uh, we're going to have to move this purple script into the starter GUI and replace this from player dot, uh, player scripts to player dot player GUI. So, this should work now. Alright, let's go ahead and test this out. What the heck? Alright, actually, sorry for the consistent errors. I'm just not exactly doing this the best. What we want to actually do is go into our normal main teleport script and go local player equals uh, game.players find first child hit dot parent dot name. And then we can just do this play it. Player dot player gui uh, dot purple script dot disabled equals false there we go that should work well, you can just go ahead and get rid of your local script if you want now real quick i'd recommend putting this inside your check for a humanoid if you have one uh just to lower the lag a little bit all right let's go ahead and test it out so when we jump in this portal the grass becomes purple but if i go ahead and head to the server side perspective the grass is still green so you can use this to make custom dimensions, custom worlds, custom everything. Maybe if you even just want to have an area with different colored water or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this can look like uh, if I were to do full terrain color changing. 
All right, so I have gone ahead and made a full example game. So as you can see, we've got the nice, a little nice island with your standard terrains. But if we want to go through this portal to our little purple magic land, we have a different skybox, which won't be covered in this video because it's pretty simple to do. You just need to use the replicated storage and some parenting. And I have a very nice purple area with purple grass, green water, and black stone. But if I go ahead and head over to the server side, everything is normal. Nothing has changed. So only I can see this. But obviously, if someone else comes through the portals, the same changes will be applied to them. So you'll be saying, seeing the same things. And that is going to do it for this video on how to make local terrain color changing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so that I can make more development tutorials like this, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.